Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi's party has failed to win one of the key states in elections held despite record COVID-19 deaths and cases across India. Mamata Banerjee is set to be the chief of West Bengal for a third time after taking more than 200 seats in the 294 seat state assembly. Mr Modi has been criticised for focusing on the elections instead of making the pandemic his top priority. For 12 straight days, daily cases in the country have topped 300,000, taking the total tally to over 19.9 million. Many states in the country are facing an acute shortage of oxygen. People can be seen standing in long queues to get cylinders filled for their family members who are suffering from the virus. The English Football Association has opened an investigation over Manchester United fans storming into Old Trafford to protest against the club's ownership. The FA condemned the violence that broke out as two officers were injured, including one who needed emergency treatment. Outside the stadium, police said there were more than 1,000 supporters. Most were protesting peacefully, but a group started throwing bottles and barriers at police and horses. At least eight people have been killed in Myanmar after security forces opened fire on some of the biggest protests against military rule in days. Thousands of people in towns and cities across the country joined the protests calling for the global Myanmar Spring Revolution. The deaths reported by multiple local media outlets were spread out across different cities and towns. A video also emerged of two police officers and two men in civilian clothes detaining three people on the street and putting them into what appears to be a civilian car during the protests. Colombia's president, Ivan Duque, has withdrawn a controversial tax reform bill following four days of huge protests across the country. In a televised statement, he said his government would work to produce new proposals and seek consensus with other parties and organizations. Unions who organized the protests said that his proposed tax reform would disproportionately impact the poorest people. Tens of thousands of people took to the streets in anger at the bill and clashed with police. Military leaders in Chad, who took over after the death of the country's long-standing ruler Idris Deby last month, have named a transitional government. Du de transition. An army spokesman said 40 ministers and their deputies had been appointed, but opposition figures say the military council, led by Mr Deby's son, has carried out an institutional coup. The announcement has come after days of unrest in the country as demonstrators took to the streets to demand change. Oh, victoire, victoire, victoire. A dispute over the succession of the late South Africa's Zulu king, Goodwill Zwelathini, is now headed to a court. The first wife, Queen Sibongile Lamini, is challenging the execution of the late monarch's will, naming the next king, amid claims it may have been forged. The news of legal action comes days after the death of the third wife of the late king, who had been appointed as regent just days ago. Queen Sibongile wants the court to recognize her civil marriage to the king as his only legally binding union. The Democratic Republic of Congo and Guinea have started recruiting participants to test a new drug to treat people with mild to moderate forms of COVID-19. The study is the largest trial in the continent to identify early COVID treatments. Researchers in these countries will also be testing a combination of two drugs. Both drugs are already commercially available and will be affordable and easy to access and administer if shown to be effective against the virus. The Italian government has approved a plan to furnish Rome's ancient Colosseum with a new floor. The culture minister said that the plan would give visitors a better sense of how the arena would have looked when gladiators fought. The plan is expected to be finished by 2023. And finally, it's like a scene from an action film. 42 Royal Marines in the UK spent three days testing different war scenarios now at jetpacks. Video shows a maritime boarding operation where a fast rib boat draws alongside a moving high-sided ship and a marine wearing the jet suit flies and lands on the ship ahead of everyone else before lowering a ladder for the others to climb aboard. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel studios in Lagos.